All right, welcome to the Honda GX160 pump rebuild. What we're going to do first is we're going to put the bearing in the crankcase, and I like to lubricate it up with some grease. I'm going to set the bearing in there. I got my seal bearing driver that we're going to use to tap it into place. So I'm just going to grab a hammer, which I got right there, and let's get that sucker in there. Before you put the seal in, you want to be able to look on the side and you'd be able to want to look inside there with a flashlight or something. Just make sure that that bearing has bottomed out. And once it has, then we're ready to put the seal in. What I want to pay attention to is that you only want to put the seal in flush because there is no groove down there for it to stop. So we'll just tap it in flush with the engine block and it'll be fine. Just like that is perfect. And I also like to rub some bearing grease on the seal before I stick the shaft and that way it doesn't go in dry. You could use motor oil or whatever you want. I just like to use bearing grease because it's handy. Now we need to put that governor pin back in. And that only goes in flat. Now we got the governor pin in place. Drop the washer. Drop the governor. Hopefully didn't lose that little retainer ring and that just goes back in the groove. It might be kind of a pain in the butt to stick in. Drop the other washer. Drop the little slide pin. That's in place. Now we're gonna put this in. When you put that arm back in, make sure you got the washer as pointed out there and put the little retaining clip on the top to prevent it from dropping inside. You pay attention to is that little slinger on the bottom there. And notice the little notch on the piston, the little circle. That has to go down because that's the way the piston is. Same with this one here. It has it, but the first thing we got to do is take that little ring out and get that piston out. All you need to do is remove the one clip and then you can push the wrist pin out through that side and the piston will just come off. And to assemble it, you just do the same button opposite. You don't want to reuse the pin that came with the factory one. We're going to use the one that the new piston came with. So I got some oil right there I'm going to lube her up with. What I'm going to do right here. Put one of these bad boys in place. I got some oil right there. We'll lubricate her up good. Remember, notch goes down. Perfect. That's in place. For the oil rings, you need to put this one in first and then these two skinny ones on after. There, and you want to make sure you can move them around freely. There's a hard time seeing the mark, but there's an end right there and an end right there. But anyways, yeah, the chrome one has to go on top. This one here, the chrome one. And then the black one goes underneath. Perfect. Once again, make sure the rings can spin freely. Make sure they're at least 120 degrees apart. I'm going to coat this piston in oil. I'm going to put some oil in this. We're going to put some oil in the cylinder. Then we're going to get ready to slide this piston in. So right now I got this thing on there tight.
There we go. Just need a little tap for it. Put that crank back in. It'd be a good time to put that oil level sensor in there. Do that up right now. Getting the sender in is pretty simple. Make sure the O ring's on this side. Two bolts. Now I'm going to put some oil on the shaft. And now we're going to slide that crankshaft in past the connecting rod. And then we're going to connect that. There we go. Now the fun part begins. It's like a 10 mil. So we're gonna do those bolts up for the connecting rod. And that part will be finished. So now we're ready to stick the camshaft in. One thing you gotta look for is there's that big dot right there. There's a little dot right there. Those have to be aligned. And make sure you put those in. Make sure everything's lubricated up. So we're going to stick these in there. I'm just going to lubricate up these lobes and then we're going to stick them in. Like I said, make sure those marks are lined up. Like that. Before you put this crankcase cover on, I got a new gasket on it. You want to make sure everything's in. Double check your timing mark. Is the governor assembled? Do you have the low oil level sensor in there? Is your connecting rod tightened up? Is everything ready? And if it is, then you're ready to stick this piece on. Try this again. Round two.